Hello everyone. So this is the first tutorial of Pandas tutorial series and in this tutorial I am going to give you a basic introduction to Pandas library. So first of all we need to import Pandas. Okay, so in Pandas we are having series, we are having data frame. So series is a one dimensional labeled array. So let me show you how to create a series. So here you can pass uh, a dictionary, you can also pass a dimensional array, you can also pass a list. So I'm going to pass here a list and let's say this is a list of a salary of 5 person. 10,000, 20,000, 20, okay, so this is the way to create a series. Now, uh, series is a one dimensional labeled array. It means uh, uh, this array will be having label. So, let me print it. So if you can see here, every item is having a label, and uh, this is, this is actually also known as a index. But this is not limited to only numeric index. You can also have string. You can also assign character. So let's say I want to assign here name of the person as index. So let's say John Raj. Rajesh, Mac, and let's say Manoj. Now let's print it again. So if you can see here now, label has been changed. So you can change label according to your requirement. So now you need to just remember it. Series is a one-dimensional labeled array. For instance, if uh, you consider a spreadsheet, if you consider a two-dimensional data, so in that two-dimensional data, when you consider a particular column or a particular row, that you can consider as a series. Now, let me change it to the previous one. Okay, now I'm going to create one more series. Let's say name. John Mac Andrew Raj. Now, uh, when we uh, are having data, usually our data is in two dimensional format. So, that data actually handled by data frame. For instance, uh, we are having here two series. One is salary, one is name. Now we want to put this data in a single table. So here comes data frame into the picture. So data frame is actually a two-dimensional array, two-dimensional data structure. So let me create a data frame. So I am creating a dictionary here. Now the key for this dictionary so I'm writing name then I'm specifying uh, for name key the value are coming from this series and for salary key values are coming from this series so the thing is that in this data frame two columns will be created one column name will be name and the second column will be named as salary and the data for from for first column will be from this series and data for second column will be from this series. Now let me print it. You see we have created a two dimensional data structure. We are having two columns. First is name, second is salary. Now what I am going to do, I am going to load a real world data set. You can download this data set from the link given in the description. So uh, this data set is in CSV format. So we are going to use here pandas read csv function.
Now, whenever you read any data, you want to see what kind of data that data set is having. So, we are interested to see some record from that data set. So, you can use a function head. So, what this function will do, this function will take first few records from your data set and it will show you. So, by default, this number of record is 5. If you want to change it, you can specify here, let's say 10. So, it will show you first 10 records. Similar to head, we are also having a function tail, which actually take record from the end. Okay. So the, uh, this function actually will give you a hint like what kind of data our data set is having. Now, second thing is that uh, if you want to see is there any missing value in our data or not so you can run here data dot info so info is a function it will tell you is there any missing value or not so if you can see here we are having total number of entries 210 and uh, compactness attribute this attribute is having 207 no none value it means three values are missing from this attribute and uh, for this attribute four values are missing now the next function is describe so this function will give you statistics for your data set now you need to remember that this function only works on numeric attributes so if your data set is having uh, categorical data so in that case it will it will not work on those attributes for instance in our data set we are having a categorical data wheat type so when you run describe function it will not consider that attribute so this uh, function will give you the number of count mean standard deviation minimum value maximum value these are the first quartiles so so far we have seen had tail info describe now if you want to see the uh, size of your data set so you can run data dot shape it will give you how many number of records you are having how many number of attributes you are having in your data set so these are some basic functions so in the next tutorial, we will see how to deal with missing data, how to slice a particular series from the data frame, how to access a particular item from a data frame. Thank you very much for watching.